Hey everybody, this is my 125 gallon native tank and I want you to have a really good close look at all of this really dark green sheeting type growth that we have all over my Anubias. We've got it on some of the woodwork. We've got it on the branches over here and then of course we have even more of it on the Anubias down here. For the longest time I have thought this stuff was cyanobacteria and I was always baffled when I would do a treatment for cyanobacteria and all of that stuff was always left behind and I know it's not that the product I use to treat for cyanobacteria I use ChemiClean but I've used Ultra Life in the past they both work fairly well I prefer ChemiClean myself but they kill cyanobacteria they don't leave thick dark green mats of the stuff behind and so I've always been curious as to what is going on with that even when I rub it with my fingers it doesn't come off it just stays on there if you look I got a fish nibbling on my forearm scared me <laughs> you can actually rub it with some a fair amount of force and it, it doesn't come off and that is not the way cyanobacteria behaves. Cyanobacteria is uh, loose and sheeting and it comes off very easily. That is cyanobacteria. This tank is just covered with it and you can see how it grows on the wood in here and you can see how it grows in sheets. If I could stick my hand in on this side all I would have to do is just rub against that and it would just come peeling off like sunburnt skin. It just comes off in sheets. So that is cyanobacteria. What I have finally figured out this stuff is, is green spot algae. But they're just massive spots, or you could think of them as massive spots. When I shot a video the other day about my melamine sponges, the new, um, basically they're magic erasers, and they just power through the green spot algae that I get on some of the glass in some of my aquariums. And I wanted to make sure I knew what I was talking about before I started calling it green spot algae. I wanted to verify that that's indeed what it was. And of course, as soon as I started reading about it, they, you know, mentioned how it doesn't just grow on the glass, it grows on everything. And as those spots grow together, it just turns into one really tough, bright green sheet of algae. And very few fish will eat the green spot algae. So now that I know what it is, I can actually uh, handle it a little differently. I can get nearite snails. I know nearite snails are one of the animals that is uh, known to eat the green spot algae. And then there's a few other scraping uh, type fish, like the pleco style fish, that will eat it. And I'll have to look into exactly which species do that. But if I can get a few of them going on in this tank, that'd be all right. You can see the one pleco I have in here scrapes the wood and as a result winds up getting some of that. But you can also clearly tell it's not scraping it for the sake of cleaning that algae off in particular. If it was, it would clean that rock. It would get all these uh, Anubias leaves all nice and clean. What that is doing is scraping the wood and it's actually getting the wood into its system uh, for the fiber or else possibly it could even be digesting some of the wood. There are plecos that actually digest the wood. Uh, most plecos, however, do need wood in their diet in the same way that, you know, birds need the uh, grit in their gizzards. They use the wood fiber to help with their digestion. So the scraping of the wood is probably sort of inadvertently keeping some of that green spot algae at bay. But where it's growing in other places, it's just going to grow there until I remove it or until I find an animal that's willing to eat it. So that's it, just a short video. I wanted to clearly identify what that finally is now because I know in a lot of my previous videos I've you know, talked about how I just don't know what this is. I don't know why that cyanobacteria treatment was not killing it off because it really should be. And the reason it isn't is because it's not cyanobacteria. That is green spot algae. And again, you can just think of them as giant one huge spot covering the entire leaf. So thanks for watching this one. Hope that was helpful to somebody. Hope maybe that helped you identify what's going on in your tank. Make sure you subscribe. That way you won't miss anything else I got coming up. You never know what it's going to be with me. And then don't forget, of course, this one is my 125-gallon native tank. So thanks again. I'll see you real soon in the next one.